first object that we need is a background. For this, open the effects menu and search for paper. Drag and drop the effect on your timeline. Select the paper element and using the inspector you can customize as much as you like. I'm going to reduce the gain and the lift to make it darker. Adjust the texture until you are happy with the result. I think it looks perfect now. Let's add a border to the entire screen. For this we will need to search for the colored border effect. Drag and drop it over the paper. The white border should be visible now. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. If you want, you can also change the color of it. I like it white. From the effects menu, let's add the text. Using the inspector, you can change the text as you wish. In case you need to change the style for some specific words, just select the text and change the attributes. I'm going to change the color of the DaVinci Resolve text to be yellow. I want to change the font for the entire text, so I will select all the text and change the font to Marlboro. Now I'm going to increase the size. You can also rename the video tracks if you like. I'm using the first for background, second for text and third for our character. Speaking about character. Let's add a video clip or image in my case on the third video track. Right click and open in Fusion and our goal is to mask our subject. My favorite tool for this is Magic Mask. But in case you use the free version, let's use the Polygon Mask. To be able to view the image again in the inspector, click on the invert checkbox. Good. This could take some time. Make sure it's zoom in as much as you need and don't hurry. To complete the mask you need to return on the first point. Done. I will zoom out now and we need to uncheck the invert and our mask is perfect. In case you want to move it around, simply use the transform node. In here you can change the size and the position. You can check the overall look by moving back to the edit page. I will make a few adjustments to move our character on top of the border. Because we are using multiple video layers, our text is behind the character. Another effect that I want to apply to our character is a border. For this, search for the paper edge effect. Use it over the character and using the inspector, reduce the edge contrast to zero. The same for edge intensity. Now you can increase the size using only the slider. Change the filter from box to circle. In this case I think it looks nice if you reduce the softness of the shadow to zero. Now adjust the offset to look more like 3D. I need to go back to Fusion to move the character to have the shadow visible. Now I want to move the text to be visible as well. For this, select the text, activate this button and you can easily move the text around. I'm also going to change the style a bit and I will add a small adjustment to the shadow. Now the text looks nice. I like to have a small portion of the text behind the person. Moving on, I want to add the DaVinci Resolve logo, so I will move it on top. And rename the video track. I will make it smaller by reducing the zoom attribute. And having the transform button active, I will move it on the top left corner. Good. Next we are going to add the YouTube logo. So move the logo on top of everything. Right click and create new fusion clip. Now you can make it smaller and position the logo as you like. We created a new fusion clip because we are going to add the paper edge effect. Sometime when you add this effect you cannot change the transform properties. 
All right. This time you are going to increase the edge contrast, edge intensity and border size. Play with the edge attributes until you achieve the perfect result. I'm going to change the shadow as well. When everything is ready, I can reposition the logo to have everything aligned. I am happy with my thumbnail. The final part is export. If you are using the latest version, you can use the menu bar, go to file, export and choose current frame as a still. Give a name, change the format and press the export button. In case this method is not working, let me show you another one. Go to the color page, right click on the video and grab a still. A new still image is appearing on the left part. Right click on it and press export. As well you can change the name and the format and click export. That's all for this tutorial. I wish you 1 million subscribers. See you next time.